traditional way of uh, having corn as a snacky by burning them in the uh, small stove or burning them and the, uh, like showing them against the fire so that it 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 gets uh, burnt up uh, literally like uh, roasting them in the live fire so it's a kind of uh, grilling it it's a kind of uh, literally uh using the coal uh, coal stove so people might use sweet corns or the normal corns here for burning them it's it's not about over burning them it's like preparing them as if they are roasted with little burns on top of it where it it would be consumable and uh, with some additional uh stuffs of masalas over it which makes them more uh like more flavorable more uh, delightful and 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 uh, uh product for consuming during your evening hours you evening uh, when you have a chit chat with your friends or just a get together with the family or dropping into any she shows or when you are walking on the road sides so it's 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 a great snacky while uh, having a conversation with someone or when you are enjoying your time with someone uh, and with your friends and sometimes even while you are with your lady love you can even enjoy this particular snacky and you'll find a lot of shops over the over the store like over the corners of the road and in the beaches and leisure spots where people would have a lot of these uh, corns being piled up at a corner and whenever some customer pops in and ask for a corn they'll just peel the upper uh, layer the it, it's a kind of baki layer which would be on top of the corn those things would be little literally peeled off and they'll be joined together which would act as a handle to eat that particular corn on the whole so and then that's shown against the burning stove which which is typically a uh, charcoal charcoal based stove which will have a handle to increase the fire flame so it's it's shown against the flame and it's it's burnt in front of you uh, to make it little ed- like edible and 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 more uh, like more tasty product and then a, a little bit of lime is being applied on it and then with some some additional uh, chili powder and salt is being added on top of it to make it more uh, like more flavorable uh, product which which um, which should be literally stunning when when you are uh, at that evening time and and while having chit chat with your friend like it's it's a great snacky and obviously it's a healthy product as well corn serves to be a great product when it comes to uh, the health health healthy uh, intake and when it comes to uh, the health perspective corn acts as a great uh, source of uh, several uh, good components that will add value to your body it's high uh, it's a high like a kind of a fiber structure uh, which which adds a lot of value for your daily diet so this is this is all about the snacky which you are which you would be enjoying and here comes the business behind it it, it here comes the actual uh, information behind it it's it's going to cost you somewhere like 40 rupees if you are in india somewhere like 40 to 60 rupees depending on the region where you are and if at all it's in a mall or something it's going to obviously cost you somewhere like 150 bucks and if it is in uh, like european countries it's going to cost you somewhere like 2 to 3 euros and that's go beyond like 15 euros times depending on 
the region or depending on the place where you are where it is sold and in US it, it goes about uh, somewhere like three dollars to fifteen dollars again and even in Australia and Canada it goes somewhere like five dollars to eighteen dollars so that depends entirely on where the produce is being procured where it's being sold and you can even add a lot of flavors to it you can further go uh, by adding it uh, like those are uh, even those uh, cons are available uh, after uh, taking them from the actual bark you can g give them in a cup with some masalas or it can be uh, with sweetening with honey like you have a lot of flavors to be added on that that entirely depends on your creativity and your audience like target audience and to the population whom you are looking to you have to improvise and add the value addition for that product depending on where you are going to sell it and who is your target audience so but if you look at the actual produce actual uh, in, ingredient in that it's it's just that the corn itself along with few other very very few little stuffs of uh, uh, masalas or the other products or the chili powder salt that's it that that's it for spicy corn and for sweet corn uh, if it is going to be some sweet or sorry taste you want to add it you're going to use the honey and a little bit of uh, vinegar or the lime would, I, would do good for bringing that sorry taste so that entirely depends on the way you are presenting it. Even you can provide them in a small bowl or something using a spoon. So it's going to cost you somewhere as little as one person of what you going to project it as its cost to your customer. Say for example, if you if you procure it for about six or seven rupees, you'll be able to sell it easily to about four. 40 to 70 rupees or even up to 150 rupees if you are if you are in a place where people uh, are barging for so much of uh, higher higher costlier things where the mall is going to be that's going to be the malls and the uh, superstory buildings where people come for purchasing a lot of other stuffs there if you just have a small kayaski that would add like even even a small space small uh small place with just a table would do good for you so it it, it shouldn't be a kayaski as well that wouldn't cost you much for a month so even uh, on western countries like the europe you can have them very near to the beach shows where it, it's obviously going to be mostly predominantly free of cost the shops is going to be cost nothing for you just the table would do good a small uh, canopy would help you enough to protect yourself from against the weather or the sun shines obviously that's going to be people spending time on the beaches are going to have this as a snacky and which is a healthy snacky as well you can add the value addition bringing in so much of taste with natural ingredients and try to be as minimal as possible so that to retain its natural flavor that ultimately going to impress people and if it is in US or in the American countries, obviously people are going to spend a lot of time over the shows. And even if you're on the city sites, you can obviously use it across. And you can even have a mobile store. In that case, you can have a small vehicle with a lot of cons stored in it. You'll have sufficient space. It's, it's until up to your creativity, like how you want to place yourself, how you want to reach the market. And how you actually want to present your product to your customer and your target audience. So I believe we have covered enough of information and it's going to be a mind-blowing idea for someone who's looking for a serious business to be launched. Though it's, it's, it's a humble product which starts with the humble beginning, that's going to end up even you can go beyond creating your own branding for these sweet cons as well. So let's hope for the best always.
So if you are serious enough, just let me know how this business would work for you. If you have something to say, let me know in the comment section. I'll be pleased to listen to you. Thanks for your time. If And before I wind up, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Click that bell icon to all notifications to receive the notification on or the alerts for all the videos which I'm going to post in future. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please share it. See you soon. Bye-bye. Take care. traditional way of uh, having corn as a snacky by burning them in the uh, small stuff or burning them and the, uh, like showing them against the fire so that it, it, it gets uh, burnt up uh, literally like uh, roasting them in the live fire so it's a kind of uh, grilling it it's a kind of uh, literally uh, using the coal, uh, coal stove. So people might use sweet corns or the normal corns here for burning them. It's, it's not about over burning them. It's like preparing them as if they are roasted with little burns on top.